Want to deploy your Svelkit project to any static hosting service? It's super easy. Hello, hello YouTube. My name is Braden Gerard, and today I'm going to show you how to deploy your Svelkit project to any static host very easily using Svelkit adapters. Let's jump into the code and take a look. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is make a directory for our project. So we'll call it versal Svelkit. And then we'll change into that directory and we'll do an npm init svelte at next. And we'll just install the default SvelteKit demo app for this example. Um, and then we will do an npm install to install the default node modules required for the SvelteKit project. And then we're gonna do one more npm install, uh, this time to make sure it goes to the development uh, dependencies. And that's gonna be our svelte.js uh, adapter for Versal. And that's what's going to do the magic when we deploy our site to Verso. Uh, at next. So once we've installed that, we can now open up our site in uh, Visual Studio Code. Just open that up. Perfect. Um, and now that we have the site opened up in Visual Studio Code, uh, we can go to this feltkit.config file. And this is the only file that we need to modify for Vercel. Uh, we basically just need to add the adapter in here. So we can say import Vercel from, and then in quotes, at yes, adapter Vercel. And then inside of our kit object here in the config, we say we want the adapter it's going to use to be the Vercel adapter that we just imported. And that's all we have to do here. Okay, so now we've added that to the code. We can simply go back to our command line here and we will initialize this as a new Git repository. We'll add all the files to the commit. Uh, added Vercel deploy. And then we'll do a Git remote add origin. I'm just going to push this up to GitHub. I already have a GitHub repository created for this. Um, so I'll push it up to that repository. It is called Vercel dash dot git and then we'll do a git branch dash m set it to main and then we do a git push dash u origin main so now that that's pushed up to github we can simply go over to vercel and we can create a new project uh, import from a git repository I already have my GitHub linked up here. I have my Vercel Svelte kit that I just deployed now to GitHub. We'll import that. You don't have to change any of the settings here. You can simply hit deploy. And this is gonna deploy our front end code to Vercel's uh, CDN to their front end static hosting service. And then it's gonna deploy our server side code to Vercel's uh, serverless function offering that they, they provide. Um, so that's just building that now and deploying it and uploading our build output. And congratulations, your site has been successfully deployed. That was pretty quick. Um, now we can visit the site. If we click the visit here, it'll take us to the temporary URL of ourselves assigned to our site. We can see our homepage here, uh, our about page and our to-dos page, which is allows us to add to-dos and also remove to-dos. And these to-dos are simply uh, to-dos that are state stored in a JSON file using the server routes, but we can see that that's fully functional using Vercel's serverless functions. So that's all it takes to deploy a SvelteKit application to Vercel. Thanks for sticking around for another one of my YouTube tutorial videos. Today we looked at how you can use SvelteKit adapters to easily deploy your project. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. And if you want to check out more of my videos, subscribe to my channel because I'll be releasing tons of SvelteKit content in the future, as well as other coding tutorial videos. Thanks, have a great day.